Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on kind of like a tips and tricks that I do for myself and that is going to be transferring this container of powder into this container which is a lot easier for me especially because this this is the Maybelline Fit Me powder and although I love the formula of this powder I hate, I absolutely hate the packaging. It's square, when you open it up you have to twist it this way and then it's just a really, I don't know, I feel like it's a very inconvenient kind of package. I wanted to show you guys how I actually transfer this container into my NYC one. This one is the package that I absolutely love. I also do love this formula as well, although nowadays it's not very common to come buy this product. A couple of years ago, actually, it was a lot easier to find at Target and this powder is the bomb. If you guys can still find it, I think you can still find it on Amazon and have it shipped to your house. It's not as inexpensive as it used to be, but it is still pretty inexpensive. I think as far as I have known, it's been under $10. I think it's probably like seven or eight dollars depending on where you live. This container, the NYC container, I have some old product, just a little bit of product left from my other Maybelline Fit Me powder, which I, like I said, love this powder. And I do have a little bit left. However, it is getting really, really low and it's getting kind of harder, like it's getting to the point where it's harder to dump the product into the top. And just this container itself is just a lot easier for me to transfer the powder into the lid. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys bring you guys to my workspace and let you guys see how I empty out this container. We are going to try this because I've never done this before. So I'm going to try it with a new um, tripod that I have and let's zoom you guys in. Hello and welcome to the workspace. <laughs> Here you can see the Maybelline Fit Me powder and then also the NYC powder. The items that I have like the tools that I've included in here. I've included an X-Acto knife in case you might want that. And then I've also included a tweezer. This is just a pair of tweezers that I don't really use very often anymore. And so I just kind of use it to open things because I have a different pair of tweezers, which are these, which I use to pluck. So it's kind of a weird thing, but that's just how it is. So this one I just use to open things or do anything that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. For the Fit Me powder, this one, like I said before, the packaging to me is just terrible. The square is just super inconvenient for me. And especially when I'm you know, pouring product into the lid and then putting the lid back on, it's just the whole container is just really, really inconvenient for me. This is how we're going to do it is with the back side, you can see this round area right here. What I'm going to do is actually cut out this part with the X-Acto knife. And you don't always, you don't have to use an X-Acto knife. You can use whatever you have around the house. And you can even just peel off the label right here. And sometimes the label will just come off really easily. And I never use my nails as tools, so that's why I have a pair of tweezers here. But you're just going to cut that out What I'm going to do is just get a little bit of this ledge here and just peel back the sticker just to make it easier so that you can see what you're doing. So you can see this little plastic piece right here. I'm going to try to take a little bit more of this label off because the first time that I did it, it was a lot easier to take out. For some reason, this is not going the way that I thought. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and just put a little hole right into the center. And of course that was probably dangerous, so you don't want to do that without an adult present. I'm going to put the blade back into the X-Acto knife and then I'm going to show you guys what I do next. I put the X-Acto knife blade back into there and I'm just going to make kind of like an X in that same spot that I had marked it the first time.
pull that back out and that is it for the exacto knife okay if you guys can figure out a better way to do it with the exacto knife totally understandable next thing i'm going to do is take a pair of scissors which i should have mentioned beforehand but i completely forgot but i'm going to take this little corner that the exacto knife had actually made a little crack in stick one part of the scissor into there and then you will see it kind of pop up yep that is exactly what happens so be careful <laughs> So that is actually, yes, it is how it happens. You know what? It's fine because this is for the greater good. And don't worry, this is all powder, so it's honestly not that huge of a deal, especially for me. I I make a huge mess all the time when I'm doing my makeup, so it's completely fine with me. So I'm going to get the NYC package and open this one up. This one's going to be a lot less messier. I'm going to take my tweezers and then I'm just going to kind of go along the edge here and just pick up the edge right there. And as you can see, I still have just a little bit of product left. How I use this for my lid is that you can see there's some tape on here and I do this mostly for control over the product. And so I cut off three quarters of this whole container. That way I can get a nice controlled amount of product every time that I put the product into my lid. So I'm going to take the Maybelline one and then I'm just going to simply dump it. Probably try to do it this way. Dump it into here just like that. And what's really difficult about this is that the corners definitely are harder to grab the product out of. So I just try to move them to one corner and then just try to pour it. And as you can see, I wish that I could have turned the camera around that way you guys can see how what I what I see but you can see that the product is coming out of there and there you have it. You can always grab the excess from the corners over here. I just knock the product from the sides and then the product goes right into this container right here. Transferring though from this package over into the circular package, very minimal on the mess. <laughs> and yeah, so very minimal on the mess. There's a really good amount in there and this container itself holds a lot. And so what I typically will do after this, after I filled it, is put this little lid back on and then put the top back on. And then when I go to use it, as you can tell, the product just comes out from this quarter right here. And so what I do is I put it right into the lid and then I use it for my lid. Whatever I don't use, just pour it right back in and then close the container. And it's a little bit messy, but that's what gets the job done. So I definitely recommend this way. It is just a little messy, which is why I have this tissue down here. And then there are some extras that came out from over here. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out and talk to you in a little bit. All right, now that I have zoomed you guys out, I'm going to just kind of go over a little review with you guys. It did take about 15 minutes, give or take, especially with some te technical difficulties that I had. But however, you can see that the product is all in this container right here. This is the NYC one. And I just love it because it's just round and it's just really easy to use. And you can see the product right in there. So this one is just the way that I keep it. For me, it's super easy, super simple to use. And then you can see the Maybelline Fit Me Powder one. This is the little plastic disc that is inside of here. This right here is just where it goes. And let me just kind of open up a new container for you guys, just so that you can see. I didn't mention this before, but when you open up the container, this is, the top part is just plastic that's all it is. It's just this plastic piece right here. There's no plastic piece on top for you to, let's say, do what you did 
do what I did in this one. And so this one is just purely plastic around and then on the bottom is where you will find the container. And then the bottom is where you can actually find the little, you, know, you see the little circle right there. That's where you can actually empty out the product. That is all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if this is something that you'd be interested in doing or you already do it with any other type of product. Maybe we could trade some tips and tricks down below and let's get another discussion going. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you later. Bye.